Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a question and answer video. I asked you guys, I think it was two days ago on Instagram and on Snapchat to leave me questions on my Instagram picture and I got over a thousand questions but I screenshotted a bunch of them and I'm just gonna go through whichever I don't know whichever ones you guys want me to answer this is a juicy question and I'm gonna put this in the beginning because I might just make this the title of my video and I always get annoyed when people have like a weird title on the video and then I have to watch through the whole Q&A to find the answer to that question lots and lots of questions about marriage and my answer is mm, I don't know so I mean like when it happens you guys will know but at the moment there's <laughs> nothing right now so when it happens I'll tell you guys you guys will all have an invite what made your decision to dye your hair red I think at the time when I dyed my hair red it was when Rihanna had my had red hair and I remember telling my little brother I remember telling was that I wanted like Rihanna red hair and every salon I kept going to wasn't giving me the hair color that I wanted they kept giving me like a burgundy like a dark maroon shade and I didn't want that so then I just bought the dye myself and then did it at home what's your favorite emoji oh that's a good question so my I think my favorite emoji is the like the moon it looks I'll put it right here so you guys can see I don't know it just looks funny it's like if you did something wrong you just put that there like oops and then I use like the laughing emoji all the time even if I'm not laughing I'll still put a laughing emoji but I think the moon emoji is my favorite I have a resolution this year to be able to do a solid solid set of 10 pull-ups any suggestions or accessory exercises you'd recommend to help so for me when I started to work out which was like whatever four and a half years ago my goal was to be able to do a pull-up and I remember I used to go with my brothers to the park and I would jump onto the monkey bars and then they would hold my knees from underneath and like push me up kind of like the assisted pull-up machines that you guys would see at the gym basically the same thing and the way that I worked up to do a pull-up is just lots and lots of volume I think I would practice doing pull-ups if not every day every day every other day at the gym or at home I got one of those pull-up things that you can uh, hook up to the door and then like I would just hang off of it and I started off by using like a chair to like help me jump off or the assisted machine at the gym and then just keep doing volume sets so like the more you do something the better you'll get at it you just got to keep practicing I think it took me like a total of maybe like three or four months to be able to do pull-ups uh, you just have to be really consistent with it and don't give up just keep trying can I speak Arabic no I can't speak Arabic I'm from Pakistan so we can I can speak English Urdu and like broken Punjabi if anything but no no Arabic which one of your brothers can annoy you the most definitely Uzair for sure he doesn't even have to say anything he can just walk by me and I'll get annoyed like instantly I'm pretty sure he does that to you guys too like if he comes in a video he probably just annoys you guys that's just his nature he's just the most annoying person probably on the planet of the earth and he's listening to this right now <laughs> stop listening yeah. he literally doesn't leave me alone he follows me around in the house he literally, he follows me around. Like if he's talking to me and I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> yes, he does. He's not going to admit it to you guys. He follows me around. Like we'll be talking and like I'll be going to the kitchen. He'll like randomly come to the kitchen. And if I'm going in the fridge, he'll come check the fridge also. You follow me. No, no, no. there? admit it. No, I'm not admitting My mom. Mom, who's right? Mom is your jump cheat now. Mom knows. Mom, no cheating. Uzair, you follow me. He's literally the most annoying person you will ever meet. How do you manage a healthy diet in a Daisy household? All right, this is a question I get a lot, especially for people who join my fat loss, cha fat loss challenges, which by the way, enrollment is open. You guys can sign up. The link will be down below. It's $15, home fat loss, whatever. But in terms of a Daisy diet at home, it's basically impossible to have a clean diet or a diet that you can track if you're eating Daisy food just because the amount of oil that our moms put in it is like crazy it's impossible to track all like the masalas and stuff that they put in like if you use like shan packets and whatever the only way that you can do it is if you literally track every single calorie and measure out every single thing that's going into the dish and then you can like weigh it out to a certain amount of calories that you need for the day but honestly it's just too much work you're just better off just like using that for a cheat day and then for the rest of the week making something that you can track like pasta and chicken or something like rice and chicken whatever that you can track all right so the next one is i really hope you read this because i'll be fangirling since i adore you so much thank you but tell a story about one of your most embarrassing moments um 
embarrassing moments. Was there? Yeah. My most embarrassing moment. I don't think I've had one. Your most embarrassing moment. Because I don't really feel embarrassed. Like if I do something, I don't feel embarrassed. I mean, the only thing I can think about is like, I like n walked straight into a pole. That was it. But that wasn't oh, yeah. even... You walked straight into the pole. I walked straight into the pole. Like some bike guy on a bike got hit by a car and I was so busy watching him and like the guy argue that I like literally walked right into the pole. My glasses fell off and like the people that are watching the guy on the bike like came running to me instead. Uzair literally didn't even help me. He walked away from me acting like he didn't know me but... Not even. I just kept walking straight because I didn't even see you. You fell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know but... Walking and imagine you hit the pole and, and I, I just, just kept walking because <laughs> I didn't even notice and I was still talking. But I don't know. I That's turn it. around there's a bunch of people around you. Yeah, it was uh, that was I guess the most embarrassing but I don't other than that I've had like I don't have embarrassing moments. Where are you from in Pakistan? So from Pakistan, we are even though we're our mother tongue is Punjabi, we actually live in Sindh and we don't live in Karachi. We live in a little town 5 to 6 hours away from Karachi. It's called Mirprakas. It's even like further down from Hyderabad. So when we land in Karachi, we get in the car and like you had to drive like for five hours to get to the little city which is called Mirpokas. When did you pass your driving? So my dad was really like stern on the fact that he wanted us to all get our licenses when we were the legal age to get it. So exactly when, uh, for all three of us, exactly when we turned 16, so April 1st when I turned 16, that same day my dad picked me up and he took me to get my G1 license and then exactly from there um, if you go to a drive school you can do your G2 license in eight months and then a year after that you can do your license uh, your G license in a year so my dad made sure that literally on the exact dates of my 16th birthday and then eight months later to get my G2 and then a year later to get my G that I got it so I've been driving since I was 16 what other colors has your hair been my hair has literally just been red or and before red it was brown that's it what's your favorite food I like anything that has to do with pasta like lasagna for sure like my mom makes the best lasagna in the world you guys should come and have some but that would take my mom like a month to make all the food for you guys but she makes really good lasagna and yeah i think lasagna is my favorite would you ever do a powerlifting meet that's a good question uh yeah i eventually do want to do a powerlifting meet i just haven't I would have done one last year, so in 2016, like towards the end, I would have done one. But because I fractured my rib in summer of 2016, I had to take a lot of time off of training and I wasn't able to hit any of the numbers that I wanted to. So basically, I restarted everything and like maybe this year I can compete? I don't know. I'll let you guys know if I do. I do eventually want to just because... I don't know, it seems like it'll be fun and then maybe I can like move on from powerlifting to something else. If you could travel to any country, where would I travel? I think I've mentioned this before. I want to visit Greece. I want to go to the Maldives. I want to go to UK because I've never been to the UK. I want to go to Dubai, which I may be coming to Dubai in like a few weeks. And Australia, basically every country. Every country I want to visit just because I love Canada, but like I haven't been internationally anywhere since I was 14 years old. How do you deal with friendships that always lead to arguing? Cut them off or keep working things out? Uh, I've never had a friendship that like that always led to argument, but that would be for you to decide. Just weigh out your pros and cons, see how much they're worth to you, if it's worth you know fixing or anything. Like if I was to get into a fight with like someone close to me and because I only have this many friends, literally, it's worth it to me because these people have been around for a really long time and I don't mind talking things out with them. But you guys have to figure out, I guess, what causes the argument and if it's the same thing that's causing the argument, get that thing fixed or it's gonna keep causing arguments for you. But that's for you to decide if they're worth it to you, if they bring you more happiness than pain, go for it. Do you have many critics because of your red hair? No. Even when I dyed my hair, like initially, I don't even remember the reaction that I got from my mom and my dad or even my brothers because it wasn't like a crazy reaction. I remember my dad was like, did you do something different to your hair? My mom was a little bit like, whoa, like what is happening? But my dad was like, just let her do it, it's fine. And then my brothers, initially they would just make fun of me saying that I, I like look like a clown or whatever, but they got used to it so fast and I don't have aunts and uncles that live here they all live in Pakistan and even the ones in Pakistan they've never said anything so what do you like more makeup tutorials or workout routines 
this is a question that you guys should know the answer to and of course it's workout if, you, if I had to pick between doing a makeup tutorial and going to work out I would go and work out don't you think that you look like Sunny Leone no your biggest pet peeve about the makeup community. I'm so happy that you guys asked this because you guys know I keep it real with you. My biggest pet peeve, and it, I've noticed it's not with Canadian girls, like Canadian beauty influencers and stuff, like us beauty influencers. They're really nice. I think Canadians are just nice in general, but everybody's really competitive for no reason. They're catty. They just, I feel like it's just a numbers game with them. It's like, okay, if somebody has 3 million followers and you have one, 1 million followers, they just still feel like they're above you and you have to approach them first and say hi or like, you know what I mean? So I just feel like there's no respect, even though everyone should just be like, you know a big family like in the working out community like powerlifting community bodybuilding community everybody is friends everybody helps each other's out everybody cheers each other on but i feel like in the makeup community there are cliques and if you're not part of a certain clique you aren't cool enough it's weird it's like high school i don't care because i'm actually haven't like you know i haven't been exposed to anybody i don't expose myself like that i don't care to make friends um i'm a nice person in general like i will treat somebody who has 20,000 followers the same as somebody who has 5 million followers i don't care about the number game and um yeah that's the only my biggest pet peeve is just like cattiness it's like if what i do will not take away from you and what you do will not take away from me because we are all so different and unique in what we do but not everybody thinks like that. How long should I work out for in a day? Honestly, if you're weight training, a solid 40 minutes to an hour is good. And then maybe half an hour of cardio right after that. My training sessions end up being two hours, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, just because my training is so intense because of the powerlifting. But usually an hour, hour and a half is good. Favorite Pakistani food? Um, biryani for sure and alu gobi. Gobi alu, alu gobi, whichever one it is, it's it, that's one. When will you stop dyeing your hair? It's gonna end up like Ariana Grande. I love you. I love you too. Uh, Ariana Grande, actually, the problem that happened with her was they were uh, bleaching it blonde and then they were putting the dye over top and they were doing it so often that her hair ended up breaking off. Um, I am not in that situation, but I will eventually dye it from red soon. I tell myself this every year, but I'll do it soon. Have you been to Pakistan? If so, would you ever go back? P.S. Do you remember meeting me at the Halal Food Festival? If you had a picture up as your on your bio, I would probably recognize your face, but you don't have one. But have you ever been to Pakistan? The last time I went to Pakistan, I was 14 years old. And in terms of would I go back to Pakistan? When I left Pakistan, when I was 14 years old, I promised myself and I told my parents that I would never want to go back just because it was so traumatizing for me i grew up in canada uh i went there and because we live in such a small city uh i was locked up in the house i wasn't allowed to even like step foot outside the gate and um, my dad was there with me my dad was amazing he took me on a motorcycle anytime like my dad was there i was allowed to do whatever i want but then my dad had to come back early and i was left there with like uh, my mom and everything and i wasn't allowed to do anything and I was 14 getting marriage proposals at the age of 14 so i was so traumatized i was like mm, i don't ever want to go back so i don't know maybe i might come that i don't know but honestly i just uh i don't i don't want to i'm just being honest what do you do as a career good question i know a lot of people are probably confused so my career at the moment even though i graduated with a major in accounting and that's what i wanted to do so i want to become a chartered accountant eventually or that was my goal but because my instagram like all this social media stuff took over and it took over so fast this is my career at the moment which is making youtube content and, and a lot with my instagram and my fitness challenges that i'm doing so all my focus right now is going into just building a brand for myself and this is what i I do for full time do you miss high school freak no if you had a choice of which country you to live in why uh, what country would you live in and why Canada for sure Canada is amazing don't have to worry about like any natural disasters the people here are nice we have like gun policies that you don't have to be scared of 
uh, it's just a nice country to be in. You guys should all come visit. Why would you choose the name Badman Zed? Like, what does it mean? So Badman, like, it was just an inside joke with Uzair, like my younger brother. And um, when I started Instagram, I didn't want to like, use my name because I was like, meh, why use my name? So I just put in like, Badman Zed. And I didn't know, like, I was going to be here. Otherwise, I would have just left it Liba Zed. But... I mean, it has a cool sound to it. So it's literally just an inside joke. It doesn't really mean anything. If there was a book about your whole life, would you read to the end? Uh-uh. No, thank you. It would give me some serious anxiety and I don't want that. What's your favorite movie? I think I've mentioned this before. White Chicks and Kuchu Chodai. Two of my favorite movies ever. Do you ever think about starting your own gym clothing line and for what you would normally wear? Excellent question. And, uh... My smile probably tells you guys what I'm working on. Are your parents strict or really chill? So my parent, parents aren't really strict and my parents aren't really chill either. Uh, they're right in the middle of when they need to be strict, they're strict, and when they need to be chill, they're chill. And um, it, work, it works amazing for us. So it says, as a Pakistani girl, how hard it is is it to survive in the society you live in? I mean, I'm from Pakistan too, and I really want to be confident as you are. Is it because your family supports you? Please answer this one. It might help me with my life. Yeah, that's you literally answered it for me. I think it's because my family supports me. I don't really care what anybody, what anybody else thinks. Um... There's not much like to, I don't know, to do, to think about society. I mean, if you're not doing anything wrong, you shouldn't feel like bothered by what society thinks. I mean, like dyeing your hair red is nothing wrong. So society shouldn't give a shit. And if they did, you shouldn't give a shit that they give a shit. But other than that, I think it was mainly because my family supports me. So I, I, if someone from the outside tells me like they don't support me, I'm like, all right, peace. And, um... Yeah, family support, it's all you need. There's some people saying that you became famous from your hair color, is that right? Yeah, I tell everybody that. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's my hair color that got me this far. Obviously not just my hair color. I mean, I would like to believe I have some kind of talent, but I mean, this you can't miss this red hair. Any gin stories? No, but my mom has a lot of gin stories. <laughs> what? You do? Someone asked me if I have any gin stories and I said no, but my mom has a lot of gin stories mom is a gin. My mom is a gin <laughs> if was there, this is a good question come you can answer this too if If you could do two illegal things for a day without getting caught What would you do? I would rob a bank and I would rob a much money from a bank though. Where would you get the money from? We should, we, we should rob a jewelry store all right, we would rob a jewelry store and one more thing, two illegal things without getting caught. I wouldn't murder anyone if that's what you guys are thinking. Damn, I can only think of one illegal thing that I would do. We just, we robbed two jewelry stores. Don't All right, mind. yeah, we just rob a jewelry store to get money. Oh, we robbed Bill Gates. Okay, Bill Gates, we're coming for you. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 24. What's your weirdest, best, worst childhood childhood memory with your brothers? When I was little, this was before Zara was born, like I would just follow Osama around everywhere because I was like his little minion. And he jumped over like in Pakistan, you guys, or India, anywhere, you guys aren't gonna know, like they have like gutters that are just open. Um, so in the gutter, there was like a, <laughs> A wood piece so it was like the gutter and then in the middle there was a wood piece and Osama jumped onto the wood piece and jumped past the gutter like over the gutter and I was like all right I could do it I was probably like I don't know maybe three or something and Osama was like five or four and he told me he's like ah, but don't do it just walk around and I was like no no I can do it so he told me jump quickly onto the little, little wood thing and then jump across because otherwise I'll sink in so I jumped onto the wood piece and I got scared and I didn't jump across and then like I slowly sunk into the gutter. Blech. Just thinking about it, I could have literally drowned in poop. Ugh. That's disgusting. I can't do it because I'm like, I have a really weak stomach and I'll just gag the whole time. But basically, my he ran, he got my chachu or my thaya and my thaya came and saved my life. And yeah, that was probably like a really bad memory. It's funny now, but bad at the time. Hardest thing about being a YouTuber, and do you have a sister? If not, would you wish you had a sister? 
hardest thing about being a youtuber or instagrammer is that you have to always like in the public eye like you just everyone always thinks that you have such an amazing life so they like envy you or they get jealous of you little do they know that you have other problems that are going on and you, we're not able to come on social media and show you guys that just because there's so many opinions that like come with that so it's just like it's hard to you're you are yourself but you can only show like one side of your life which is like the happy happy good parts of your life and second is uh, do you have a sister i don't have a sister i have two brothers and do you wish you had a sister no is it hard being a pakistani in canada no have you ever had sleep paralysis this will be the last question yes i have and it was the scariest thing in the freaking world so i was sleeping and then i woke up and i saw like a black figure in front of my bed and it was just like a big black shadow and like slowly the shadow like creeped onto my bed and it was like on top of my body and it was just like moving like this on top of me and I was trying to say something and I was trying to move and I couldn't and I remember when I heard YouTube stories of people talking about this kind of stuff I was like okay no this is bullshit it's impossible it can't happen but it happened to me and like this thing came and it just sat on top of my chest and I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't breathe or say anything and I freaked out. And then all of a sudden like I could all, like I could breathe all of a sudden and then I started crying and I ran downstairs to my mom and my dad. I think that's it. I've been sitting here for like 30, 40 minutes recording videos. I hope you guys like this one. I promise if there are more questions because I forgot to ask my YouTube family, if you guys have questions that you want answered that aren't specific to what I answered here. I got a lot of repetitive questions like, what motivated me to work out um, and like when I started YouTube and stuff like those kind of questions I've answered so many times so if you have something other than that random questions like would you rather questions or something anything to like get to know me better or whatever you guys want to know leave it down below and I will make sure to do a part two to this and um, that's it I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you guys next time